Yeah. Asshole. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> Fight another firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah. Fuck you. Hey, everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Firewatch, a game that just needs no introduction whatsoever. It's such a popular, well-known game, but it's a popular, well-known game that I've never played, I've never watched, and I actually have no idea what it's about. The only information I have is that I think we're some sort of ranger in this Firewatch tower in the wilderness in Wyoming, I think, in America, and I think we get a bit lost and we have a radio to speak with someone at the radio tower and keep us company and that's as much as i know i've never seen it never played it but it's a game i've wanted to play for a very very long time and i thought why not now let's start now i hope you're excited for this as much as i am let me know down below as usual i'll uh, be quiet through the cutscenes. i am really really excited to be playing this colorado 1975 You see Julia. Where's Julia? Oh. I have to click. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from a nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh oh. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pre. Um, major. Main interest in them. <laughs> no joking. You slur the word major and it smells like cause. Oh, and you smell like cause. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm, and I'm a professor. Ooh, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. She's a bit of a... Bit of a mare. Was that a burn, you ask? Oh, God, that's cringe. She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. If it was ever that easy, the world would be a much better place. But it's not. It's never that easy. Oh, okay, hang on. There we go. I turned the uh, sensitivity down. Oh, so, my rucksack. I assume it's just already working. Oh, yeah. It's a very pretty game. It's a very different sort of game to what I us usually play, especially on the channel. So... I'm looking forward to it in that sense. Something a bit different. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on a deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Uh oh. One day it's a dog, then it's a house, then it's kids, then married. <laughs> There's a, there's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad ass. Beagle or shepherd? To be honest, if it was me picking it, I'd go for the shepherd. German shepherds, the beagle, are they like really good at sniffing? Or is that another sort of dog? Let's go shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, a pet, rolled into one. So 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high, high desert. Desert? Off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Uh oh, I told you. I told you it was coming. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. Oh, that'll be pretty good, I guess. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that the parents are hitched. What a weird, weird sentiment that people have. You've got to be married in order for it to be legit or something. I don't know. Do we have our bag. So it seems like a bit of a uh, a feel-good game, I guess. So where are we? Laura Fair? Trailhead. No fireworks, do not forget to check in. Learn to live with bears. It's not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Oh, well. 
I've never gone hiking before in my life. Very pretty, though. I'm surprised, I guess, that there's no voice acting. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Always, always speak the truth. Say what's on your mind. You call her an inconsiderate ass. Okay, maybe not that. <laughs> she tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. What's going on? 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Victoria's Secret model, obviously. So I was gonna like say, are we looking for Julia? Like, because where she was four hours late, I thought maybe she was lost in the in the wilderness. But it's very orange, very saturated. I feel like I'm on the planet Mars. Two forks. Two forks look outside. Eight more hours. Eight more miles still. I cannot read today. Space. Okay. Oh, wow. Very arts. He's very like, minimalist art style, wasn't he? I like it. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh! Mayhem runs away. Mayhem, you fuck! <laughs> May me moo, fuck dog, the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face. Scare him away. We don't, you don't, you know, go to the same level. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three. Wait, you manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. I don't get that sentence. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plan to have kids? Get way laid back. Get way laid by work. What's way laid mean? Is that an American term? Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. These, these, this is too very bad. Never stop someone from taking a job, but expecting them to commute back and forth. I'd rather say commute out of, out of the both of them. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. See, I feel like that's some sort of compromise at least. You're not just telling them to give up on their dreams, you know? 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember and she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine to try and talk to someone. Always talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. That is early. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. 41 years old of early onset. Oh, wow. Look at this game, man. It's so pretty. I have fat hands. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Is that... Is that me? <laughs> no, is that the option I picked? <laughs> Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar and see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. The research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. He is devastated. He is sent home on permanent medical leave. 
Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger who pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. This is very depressing at a minute, isn't it? 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. This is a difficult choice to make, but what's best for Julia would be a full-time care facility. I don't know which way we go. Do we go up? Do we go back? I think we jumped down there, so maybe this way. Man, what, um... I, I, I began this game thinking it was going to be a feel-good game, and then it's actually turned to be quite depressing. Just a random patch of fog, I guess. Oh, a deer! Hello. Oh dear, he's going. Okay, <laughs> why is he moving like that? Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Oh no. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. I don't know, is it is it that bad a decision? Like surely that's best for the person to have care 24-7. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some other time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You wrote, won't. You've always really liked Susan. Are we some sort of like macho man who doesn't believe in talking about his feelings? Months go by. Mayhem dies. That is the worst news I've heard so far. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in a paper for a job. You take it. I don't think she's getting you less and less because you're seeing her less and less. It's, it's the dementia, isn't it? It's a horrible, horrible thing for people to go through. Like both the person experiencing it and the people living with it. Oh, I thought that was like a thing then. It's got a really, really pretty art style though. Is that an outhouse? Do I have to, if I ever need to go to the toilet, I have to go all the way down there. That is long. I mean, you must admit. I wonder how much people like this would get paid. I wonder if it's good pay. Turn on the power. He slapped that switch. Hello, oh, about the radio, ladies. Sorry. Oh, that radio. Hello. Hold left shift to activate radio. Um, hello? Whoever this is? Okay. This is Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, Hi, that's Delilah. What the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Yeah. People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Yeah, isn't it? Get out of my face, Delilah. Idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. So left shift, you've killed three ex-husbands, you're rebelling against mum, nobody back home can stand you. It's got to be the three ex-husbands, hasn't it? That's what I would say. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. 
very good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> I sleep now? Mm, not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. Ooh. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Oh, well, that's cute, isn't it? Is this going to be some sort of elaborate kind of therapy for Henry, Henry? Well, instead of just going to a professional? <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Wait, how how can she see us at the desk? Where is she? Where are you, Susan? No, wait, what's her name? Delilah. Ah, oh, this place is awesome. What the hell? So is this like an actual job then? Do people actually like live in fire towers? Bleach. Examine. Wow, look at that. Claw tox. Regular bleach. Cool. I'm just gonna have a little look around before I talk with Delilah again. Supplies. Supplies, motherfucker. Glass cleaner? Oh, I thought that thing was... Um, alright. What was that? Something just... Oh, calendar. Laura. Okay, let's talk to her. How do I... Left shift. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Yeah, get it right, Henry. Stupid. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? The map table? Why, I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. Osborne. Wow. That's to spot. You guessed it. Fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, <laughs> language, lady. <laughs> What's going on? facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. And to use compass. Where's- fucking fireworks? Oh, yeah. Zoom in. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? I, I did. I, I did. I saw them. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest <laughs> ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Uh, like, kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book. Yeah, here. in it. Delilah, Just come on. Give me some pointers. Make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, secure, convenient, smart. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, in any job, I need I need concise, precise, and any other ice word you can think of. Instructions to do things. You tell me to go down there. I need to know what exactly I'm doing when I go down there. Okay, so... We've got a bag. I think that's all we need. Oh, I thought I fell over then. So is this actually, yeah, is this actually a thing? I don't even know if this is a thing in, in my country, in, in England, but... Space bar. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I don't know why I went there. Can I? I can't sprint, can I? Oh, I'm stuck. Damn it, that's a dramatic... Animation. I can't think of the word then. So I can't sprint. The N was the compass, which doesn't make sense. You'd think it'd be C. I'm gonna go down and beat the shit out of these guys. My first impressions is that Delilah's either gonna be a really kind of over-the-top reason for therapy, you know, instead of actually going to speak to someone like a professional 
we're doing this entire elaborate scheme in order to talk to someone. I can't, can I go this way? I can. I did see the box back there, but... Um, I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across <laughs> some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, wasn't it? Hell yeah. Tip top security. App updated. Nice. And then a note. What does the note say? Read. Q. Uh, 7786. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park. Well, let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Dave is such a party animal. Dave is just crazy. I don't know. Pick it up. How do I eat? Do I eat it? Or can I hold it? I don't want to eat it. Oh, yeah. Deal with whoever's setting your fireworks. I feel like eating the... Can I lock it? I feel like eating the granola bar was a bad idea. Because what if I get lost and then I need food? Emergency rations. Where's West? This way. Yeah, I really like... I like I'm liking Delilah so far. Oh, and also, yeah, there is voice acting. I don't know why there wasn't voice acting at... Oh, R? Ugh. What are these controls, man? Why was R not for radio and shift for... For sprint? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know why there was voice acting at the beginning, but it wasn't at the beginning, but there is now. It's a bit strange. Oh, what's this? Lord up tree. Radio that in. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Huh. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> I like her. Detach. Oh, I have to go this side, my bad. So I'm guessing Henry is a typical kind of like city boy, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the dynamics work in America. I don't know what your social classes are. Yikes. I mean, let's be real. You could have just slid down that hill. It's not that steep. Look, you could have easily report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope. I've got an ouchie. Shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? The rope. No, I think I'll make it. We'll be careful for Christ's sake. Huh. Genuine concern right there. Uh, west. That way. So, did we go down here? Well, we can't anyway, do we? I was gonna say, yeah, we don't even have the rope. Report meadow. Do I just. Re I mean, I don't know if I have to report everything or. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really beautiful. Something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. They got eaten by a bear. Absolutely got eaten by a bear. West. I am going in the right direction. Oh, am I not? It's, it's, it's weird. I'm not sure if there's like a path I have to stick to or not. I guess there is. Oh, bags. Oh, there's a oh oh, there's like a whole thingy. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake. Probably yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Yeah, you dum dums. I'm gonna stomp out your fire. Wow, great job. <laughs> oh shit, ferret or Irish? 
Drink. Save. For later. Hold it. Yeah, let's save that. I'm going to rob all your shit, boys. Confiscate. Hold it. Hell yeah. Give me all your stuff. This is like a, this is like legal robbery, isn't it? I'm just getting like payback for that time I was mugged. Campfire bags. Is there any? Are there any other like secrets? It's very orange, and I feel like I've got a very reptilian brain, so I can't really see much. <laughs> can't do anything with the bags. <gasps> clothes. Let's rub their clothes too. Teach them a lesson. Two pairs of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oi, pricks! No fireworks, right? Oh, there's a bra. How do I examine a bra? Uh oh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I mean, it's a very nice bra. <laughs> oh no. Panties. Why'd you call them panties? Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Yeah. <laughs> This underwear or like knickers or something, you know, not panties. Panties. What did I see? I see. I just saw something else. Oh, another bra, another pair of panties. There's a... Yes. <laughs> There's a second pair. There are two naked women. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two? Yeah. Henry doesn't know what to do. Tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Henry, you fucking child. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Full stereo. Oh, hey, put that down. I know you're lighting fires. Quick, the fireworks. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? Chelsea? What is it? Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Thank you. Now leave us Oh, I was trying to throw it in the water. Total creep. Go get a girlfriend. You yeah. asshole. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> Light another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Yeah. You can't just harass girls in the I don't know if that was the right thing to do. <laughs> Find your way back to two folks. You know, now that I've done that, I don't actually know why I did that. I was just trying to be a dickhead, but... Hey, that go okay? <laughs> I went fine, it's done. Might have got a little hot. Yeah, let's Might do that. Got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property... Took a swim? Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. Seriously, yeah? What is a boombox in in the grand scheme of things if they set the entire fucking forest on fire? Idiots! Um, so we were... Oh, what's this? Beer can? Hell yeah. Take that shit. Anything else? Oh, another- Oh, what? Mate, they did so much littering. You're killing the planet! Is that all? Any other fucking mess I have to clean up after you? Like I'm your personal maid? Um, run. So- Oh, report meadow. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Wait, so go towards the lake again. And then <clears throat> north towards the canyon. So I've got to go around it. Is that what she's saying? It's a really weird kind of concept so far, but I'm liking it. We haven't actually had any character... Oh, whoa. Any character development, but... 
not development, but like interactions other than this and Delilah. But we don't know anything about them or... Um, so west and then north, right? So this way. It's so bloody orange. This way or that way? Um, let's go this way. She said something about a canyon. This looks quite canyony. It's going to be like that film 127 hours and I'm just going to lose my arm. Yeah, I don't know. Did I did I deal with that situation correctly? Did I, he's throwing a uh, stereo in the water. A sane thing to do. Um, also, it's um, quite a different game to what I usually play. And I'm not sure if the... So oh. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Uh, yeah, right. well, you're not the first boss oh, yeah. to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to a uh, to a minimum. I thought it was actually anyway, quite funny. Let me know when you get back to your lookout. Oh, Delilah, you're a bit of a bit of a. She should have doubled down on it, man. Um, yeah, the, the the type of game. Obviously, there are these moments where, like right now, where it's quiet. There's no dialogue and there's not much happening. I don't know if I should include that in the video or not. I don't know if that makes for good viewing experience. Um, so let me know. Let me know if that's something. Oh wait, storm nearby. Um, let me know if that's something you want to watch, or if you'd prefer me to cut these sections until there's dialogue or, you know, something happening. But for now, I guess I'll keep it in until I'm told otherwise. But yeah, nearby storm, report yeah, thunder. Heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, that's impressive. Didn't feel any better? It wasn't what killed him. <laughs> what killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh him? no! What's this cave? I hear the cave's echo. Hello. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? Oh. I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. That's how you have to be with this, Delilah. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hank? Uh, it's alright to hike through here. Oh! Okay, I don't know if I was doing that through the radio or not, that's why I did it. So, can I climb this? Yeah. I don't even know if this is the right way to go, but... Like, I'm elevating, so, and we're heading east, which is the opposite to west. Yeah, I can terrain and map stuff. Whoa. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Uh. Wait, he's looking at you? Oh, he's is gone. He doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Where did he go? Henry, there's, there's something I... Oh, no. Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, I mean, 
they're going to be hikers and stuff, right? It's a national park. But why was he shining a light at me? And why was... Why has he disappeared? Which way do we go? Did we go up here? Or did we go... There are a lot of options and where to go. And I don't know if I'm choosing the right places. We still got our ring finger on. Oh, I think this is just a, a more complicated way to get here. Well, let's do it. Looks like we can do some exercise. Keep us busy. Nice. Yeah, much, much harder way to do that. So far, I'm really liking the dialogue. I'm not finding it like, you know, trying too hard or cringy or anything like that. So that's nice. Not trying to be too relatable, you know, something like that. Oh, come on, bro. You idiot. Put it back up. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. I mean, that, that, that could be dangerous, right? Someone could just walk off the edge of that. All right, well... Let's go take a big poo-poo in this place. <laughs> Whoa, why is it like that? Can I, like, put it up against here? No. Uh, why, is it do why is it doing that? I want it to stand up. Stand up. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> What's this? A baseball? I want to get it in the toilet. Hey, hold in one. Oh. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? Yeah, bro. Can you hear those flies? Wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure... I pee wherever I want as well. See that? That right there was a power move by Delilah. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. So we got a pair of sarcastic twats spending their time together. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Is this our typewriter? <gasps> Those teenagers. I bet they came here and destroyed my house. Oh, no. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. I, I am inside. Close the door. Close the door. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Oh, it was the, it was the teenagers, the wasn't fucker? it? Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. Oh, what do I do now? Ed? My fucking sheets are gone. That's weird. Yeah, isn't it? That's just me. That's weird. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, the place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. This is... You hear anything? Okay, I put in a call. Uh, thanks. That was fast. What can I do? That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? The teenagers. I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry Although, about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. 
I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, I don't, don't worry. Just tell me where to find a gun. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun <laughs> was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. I mean, I did say that just to uh, be smart, but I didn't actually expect it to be a serious answer. The uh, like it could be it could be the girls, or it could be the the freaky man. Oh. Hey, wake up! All right, get off my case. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> our problem. Sorry, our problem. Oh look, is that um? That storm knocked out the phone yeah, line. I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup. Can I go fix it? Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. It does. It does it does do that. No, it doesn't. What? Okay. Alright. How does Hank not rhyme with Hank? Okay. I'm gonna leave that episode there. Um I'm not sure how long this game is at all. Um, but considering it's it's kind of divided into days, I think that's probably a good indication of where to stop a, an episode. So far I'm really liking this game. It's got really good dialogue. The the art style was just great. I'm really liking the way it looks. It had a slow start, I guess, with all the, the text heavy kind of intro, but I guess you have to set the law somehow. Um I mean L O R E, not L A W. But yeah. I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, let me know what you thought about uh, the game so far. If you've watched it before, if you're excited to see the, the playthrough. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.